Ali, many congratulations, your first professional contract on your birthday as well. Um, just tell us a, a bit about yourself as a cricketer. So I am a top order batsman who also can keep wicket. Um, I've um, been up through the ranks at Sussex since I was about 10 years old, so I've been very used to sort of playing around Sussex, and Sussex has been in my life for a very long time. Uh, tell us a bit more about that. So you, you, you grew up obviously in Sussex. You've been coming here for a long time? Yes, yeah, I've been, uh, I think I was on the EPP when I was 12, I think, and it sort of went from there and, yeah. And who were your, who were your sort of Sussex heroes growing up? Oh, Murray Goodwin's got to be up there. He was, he was, yeah, he was amazing. And I think Michael Yardy as well. Used to love watching him, but. Uh, you talk about that pathway, uh, obviously for the last two or three years, um, Richard Househall has uh, been the director of, of the pathway. What's, what, what role has he played in your development? Uh, he's been massive, really. He's, um, I think, mainly for fielding. I mean, he's absolutely excellent. One of the first people who I've actually enjoyed fielding with. And I think just his general energy around everything. And everything is done with such a passion and such sort of purpose that it just made training a lot more purposeful and very intense, which I thought coming into this has made me a lot more used to this environment. I'm talking about that, making that leap up to the um, professional environment with the coaches, James and Ian, but also the rest of the squad. How's that been for you? Oh, it's, it's, I knew a few of them from playing in the second team, so it's, it's obviously very different, the, sort of the general atmosphere and obviously being surrounded by some very, very talented players we've got here. So it's very different from being in the junior team, but it's very exciting and I'm really happy to be around it. Um, you're juggling certainly this first year uh, of, of your professional career with your studies at, um, at Loughborough. Just tell us a bit about how that's going to work and, and what you're doing at Loughborough. Okay, so I'm studying international business at Loughborough and I'm looking to try and balance the rest of this year out and do my exams in June to try and finish the year and try and come out with good enough grades than if I want to come back to it after this or and just to leave my options open really in the future. Uh, you played for Loughborough last week, scored some runs against Leicestershire. That must have been a good confidence boost. Yes, no, definitely. No, it was a, it was a very nice track, I must admit. Flat as a pancake, as one would say. And uh, no, it was just a, it was a lovely day. And no, it was, uh, it was great to score some runs. But no, more than anything, it was just nice to be back out there and back out playing cricket, really. What sort of conversations have you had with um, Ian and James about, you know, what they're looking for from, from you this year? Um... I think um, we've had many discussions about sort of my development. I think one big thing they're trying to push my wicket keeping a lot more, try and get a lot more out of my keeping so that if something does happen to Brownie or Salty, then I'm ready to go. And obviously keep developing my, my batting to try and sort of break into the team as a batter, but then working so hard on my keeping and that, then that's really ready for the first team. And I guess the fact that you've joined the squad uh, in the same sort of group as... Um, Jamie Atkins, Henry Crocom, Jack Carson, who you'll know well from the pathway, that makes things a little bit easier um, when you're coming into a pro squad. Oh no, definitely. I mean, I've grown up school with Henry since I was since I was about 14, and Jamie I've been playing with since very young as well, as well as Jack. I mean, we won the under 15 national cup together when we were yeah, under 15. Sorry. So yeah, it's great to sort of have those people around, so it's a bit more comfortable. But I obviously want to get to know the others a lot more as well. So. And I guess learning from those experienced yeah, pros exactly, yeah. is, is a big part of that. Yeah. Uh, and then finally, um, first year pro, you know, what would be a, a dream start for you in terms of the 2021 season? Oh, well, I think uh, definitely to make my debut, but hopefully to go on from that. And hopefully uh, my dream, obviously, I want to get 100 and hopefully sort of add something to the team and get sort of a notable score to try and keep me in, in this environment for as long as possible, really. A very warm welcome. Thank you very much.